Hey, hey everybody, welcome to day 146 of the Daily Stoic. All right, here's the quote for the day. I'm constantly amazed at how easily we love ourselves above all others. Yet, we put more stock in the opinions of others than in our own estimation of self. How much credence we give to the opinions our peers have of us and how little to our very own Marcus Aurelius. So as I've been thinking about this quote today, what has kept coming to me over and over and over again is why do we worry about other people's opinions of us? I mean, that's like an age-old question, right? It's... We constantly get, I think, caught up in this, dude. We get caught up in what everybody else thinks about us. That sometimes it becomes like immobilizing. Like we can't do anything. Because Sally doesn't like it. Or Joe doesn't think it's a good idea. Or my dad thinks I should do something different. Or my mom feels I should go to this school. So, instead of taking an action step, instead what we do is we don't do anything at all. We just stop. Just stop. We get all caught up in this and we get all worried about what everybody else thinks. The sad thing is though, is is that I've noticed over time when people get caught up in what everybody else is thinking about them, they stop thinking for themselves. They just stop altogether. And they get in this vicious cycle of what they do then is they sit and they wait for someone to tell them what to do. Or they sit and wait and then when they finally get an idea or something they think might be a good idea, then they take it to these other people, other people, and have them vet the idea for them and say, hey, it's a good idea or no, it's not a good idea. The sad thing about that is, is that a couple of things. One, think for yourself. Learn to think for yourself. Two, if you're always gonna let other people think for you, then get used to never, and I mean never, accomplishing the things in life that you wanna do. And three, you're not going to please everybody all of the time let me let me say that one more time you're not going to please everybody all the time so I tell you what how about if you work on making yourself happy and you know how you make yourself happy we've talked about it probably at least five to ten times since we've started this video series here on Stoicism. Only you can make yourself happy. Nobody else. And so what does that mean? That means you're gonna have to start making some of your own decisions. That means you're gonna have to start thinking for yourself. That means that you're gonna to have to move past the opinions that other people have of you. If you want to be happy in life, if you want to accomplish your goals in life, if you want to do great things in your life, you need to move past other people's opinion of you, period. It's that simple. Move past it. You know the old saying about opinions, and I'm not going to repeat it here because we're trying to have a family-friendly video series here, but you know what I'm saying. Don't let other people's opinion of you bring you down, stop you, hold you back. Forget that. Those people aren't living your life. Those people want to keep you under their control. Those people want to make you do what they want you to do or what's best for them, or they might phrase it as what they think is best for you. 
Now, I'm not saying don't learn from other people. I'm not saying don't learn from other people's examples. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying when it comes to people's opinion of you and what you're doing, leave it at that. It's their opinion. And it doesn't have to stop you. It doesn't have to stop you dead in your tracks and you can't make any progression. You can't think for yourself. You're standing there waiting for them to validate and to say, hey, you're doing the right thing. Move forward. Don't. Don't be that person. It's their opinion for a reason because it's their opinion. It's not your opinion. And if there's anything that we've learned along this journey through stoicism, right, it's that we have to control what we can. What can we control? Our mind, our thoughts, our perspective on things. That's what we control. Do not let them control you. Period. That's what this quote means to me. I'd love to hear what this quote means to you. I hope you'll take some time. I hope you'll read it, ponder it, and leave me some thoughts and comments below this video so that you and I can have a conversation about it. And also, on top of that, I want you guys all to have a great day today. All right? No matter what anybody's opinion about today is, if you decide it's going to be a great day, then it will be a great day. And you'll make it a great day. And that's what I want you to do. Go and make and have a great day today. And last but not least, let's all strive harder each and every day to learn about these philosophies that we're talking about and implement them in our lives to make our lives better. All right? So let's all strive harder each and every day to live more and more and more like a stoic. Till tomorrow, have a great day.